my soccer universe for another women's world cup update i'm wearing my favorite u.s jersey as we know the u.s women are on as we expected it uh, to be however i saw a good portion of that game um probably starting around the 20th minute and then really uh the second half i followed rather closely um I missed the opening sequence where already, I think this was in the fifth minute when uh, the US got a penalty, which uh, was to me a, a good uh, decision. And Arapino steps up and slots it home in the seventh minute. And you think, yeah, this is well on the way. However, Spain with their possession game and uh, quick passing moves made it, moves made it really hard for uh, the US to get uh, control of the game. Um, which was somewhat expected. Maybe Spain was so far the best team that they have faced. Not that Sweden is a bad team, but Sweden uh, clearly didn't play full out. They actually very quickly decided, okay, seemingly decided, we go rather for a second place because, you know, second place was not that bad. I mean, you get a slightly easier route uh, to the final. So I think Sweden didn't play full and Spain really played full and gave the uh, states a challenge. And it was really game on when just two minutes after the goal, um, the goalkeeper plays to a defender who doesn't look out. Ball comes to Hermoso and she came from a distance, uh, put it into the net. A um, little bit surprising, but it's 1-1, one, one, all to play for. And honestly, uh, from that moment on, there were not that many chances, but it was a rather open, even game game and that was basically the first real bump for the US. I, in a way I had the fear that the US will just steamroll Spain but uh, nothing like that. Spain really gave them a, a, a good fight and even in the second half had a good chance where a shot uh, just went a little bit wide of the post. I mean um, a little bit more power behind, a little bit more direction and this could well have gone in. Of course the US also had chances. But it seemed a, not stalemate in any way, but it seemed an even matchup. Uh, you know, kind of those intense uh, World Cup games where there are not many chances, but you can see that both teams have quite some ability. And then it, another penalty is given. And yes, there was contact there. It's, at first it didn't seem like a penalty to me. And uh, despite me wearing the US jersey and despite me generally having some uh, sympathy towards the US, I actually was a little bit hoping for the upset yesterday. I'm totally uh, admitting that. So I was a little bit disappointed that the penalty was given. They went over VAR when I thought that there was count counting. It was clear that it will not be overturned, although... Um, yeah, uh, it's the type of penalty that I can understand that it's given, but I'd rather not see given. Uh, the fall was a little bit too obvious, my personal point. So it took a while until Rapino steps up and tries to get uh, the lead. She <laughs> chose the exact same penalty. Um, there was no way stopping that one. Um, it looked actually closer uh, live when you saw the replays. 2-1 to the United States, and that was not really much coming from Spain. I remember that just in stoppage time, last shot, I couldn't really get it off. Uh, the US, I have to say, defended that well, and you could see they have the superior players. However, Spain probably has the superior system. I think Spain really, really gave the US a run for their money. The late game between Sweden and Canada, I followed kind of the first half while preparing my Copa America review video. There was not much happening. It was a really, really, really tense game. And if you watch the FIFA highlights, uh, the first highlight is in the 55th minute. The goal. when Aslani makes a run on the side. Puts a nice cross in uh, ahead, uh, right on the edge of the box, around the run, run defender, where uh, it can be taken up by Blackstenius. And she beats the goalkeeper to the ball and it goes into the net. Then there's a little bit more excitement, but I was already too tired. I, I saw the goal and I turned off because I was done. I needed to uh, uh, sleep. And uh, it is then uh, Canada gets a penalty, which is wonderfully saved by Lindahl. Um, and then almost a penalty for Sweden, which is taken back by VAR. So it's Sweden who also moves on to the next round in a very, very 
even matchup between Canada and Sweden, which was to be expected that this will be a tight one. So um, in the round of 16, we have now two more matchups confirmed. The one that we saw said from the beginning, France against the United States on the 28th of June. And we have also Germany-Sweden, which is also a very interesting matchup, um, which will be on the 29th of June. So um, today we have Italy against China and the Dutch against Japan. Let's see how those matches will go. If you have anything more to say, drop a comment below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.